we have few steps. Given P ultimate, M ultimate from a structural analysis. Maybe your column is a part of a frame. So from a structural analysis, I can draw what is the bending moment diagram. So I can tell you what is the M ultimate. From a structural analysis, I can draw axia, uh, I'm sorry, normal force diagram. So I can tell you what is the P ultimate on your column. So from a structural analysis, I can tell you what is the P ultimate, what is the M ultimate on the column. Also, I can assume, or maybe it's given, concrete dimension of the cross-section of the core. Sometimes, the concrete cross-section isn't given. I would like to design everything from scratch. Okay, go ahead. Assume the column will have an average compressive stress equal 0.6 uh, Fc prime, and you can get your area uh, gross of concrete equal P ultimate divided by this stress, 0.6 Fc prime. You can get area gross. Once you get your area gross, I can convert this area gross <coughs> to three shapes. The first one, circular cross-section, if your column is a circular one. Yeah, area gross equal by divide four, your diameter square. I can figure out what is the diameter. <coughs> I can convert this area gross to square cross-section. So I can get the square root for this number, and I can tell you what is the dimension of your cone. I can convert this area gross to a rectangular cross-section by assuming one side, and you can calculate the other side. Area gross divided by this side. So if your cross-section not given, Before we continue, what is the, the main target in your design? Can you let me know what is the main target? So I would like to know what is the cross-section of your column. What is the area steel in your column? That's right. OK. I know. The column under the effect of B ultimate and the M ultimate. I don't have anything about what is the dimension of my column. So go ahead and use this note. Your area gross of concrete L equal B ultimate divided by 0.6 F prime C. Once you get your area gross of column of concrete, go ahead and convert this area gross to what is the shape you would like. Maybe your column will be circular column, like a square column, or rectangular column. You are the designer, and you can decide. Then we need to figure out how can we calculate the area steel. First step, we need to calculate what is the value of nominal axial force by dividing the ultimate by phi. <coughs> What is the value of pain? <coughs> Depends which one we're using. Yes, but uh, this one is a uh, uh, tight column, so phi will be 0.65. If it's tight column. Or 0.75 <coughs> if it's spiral column. Second step, go ahead and calculate your MN. MN, nominal moment, equal M ultimate, from structural analysis, divided by phi, your phi will be 0.9. Go ahead and calculate something called eccentricity, E. If you divide your MN, from the second step by Pn from the first step. 
Go ahead and calculate something called gamma. What is the value of gamma? Okay, the total length of your column, H. The distance between this phase of reinforcement to the opposite phase of reinforcement called gamma H. So can you tell me what is the value of gamma? Yeah, I know this cover. I know this cover, something in between 1.1 1 .1 inch to 2.5 inch. So I know what is the dimension of my column, subtract this cover and this cover. That means I know what is the distance between this phase and this phase. If you know the distance and if you know edge, you can figure out what is the value of gamma. So Pn, Mn, eccentricity E, what is the value of gamma? Fifth step, go ahead and calculate this factor Kn and this factor Rn. First factor equal Pn P4 divided by Fc prime time area gross. Rn equal Pn time eccentricity divided by Fc prime area gross H. Based on what is the value of gamma that you calculated before? What is the value of Fc prime? What is the value of F yield? you can decide which interaction diagram you will use. Why? For each interaction diagram, we have a title here. First value, what is the compressive strength of concrete? 4,000, 3,000, 5,000, whatever. The second term, what is the yield of stress, uh, of uh, steel reinforcement? The third one, what is the value of gamma? Do you remember what is the value of gamma? So based on these three numbers, I can decide which interaction diagram I will use. Then, step number seven, based on the value of Kn, the value of Rn, I can tell you what is the reinforcement ratio pro, how. Kn is your vertical axis. Rn is your horizontal axis. So if your Rn is a number and your Kn is another number, so go ahead, go ahead. At this intersection, you can decide what is the value of rho. Rho is given for this curve, 0 0.08. For this curve, 0 0.07. For this curve, 0 0.06. You are in between these two curves, so we can select something between 0.06 and 0.07. So I can figure out what is the value of rho. And rho equal area steel divided by area gross as a percentage. I know what is the area gross of your column. Now I can figure out what is the rho value. Then I can go ahead and calculate what is the area steel required to support this core. <coughs> what do you think? A lot of steps. Steps. Just steps. Okay, let's see one example. We have a short column, 14 times 20. Wow. So the column uh, dimension is given. That's fine. Sometimes the column cross section not given. So we need to figure it out. Anyway, so your dimension 14 times 20 column is to be used to support the following glue. B did 
125 be like 140. So I can figure out what is the value of V ultimate. Equal 1.2 time 125, 1.6 time 140. <coughs> also, we need this column at the same time to support moment due to the dead load and the moment due to life load. So your M ultimate will be 1.2, your dead load plus 1.6, your life load. So, what's the first value? 33,600. 33,600. Okay. Second one. Are you sure about 3,600? 374. 374, yeah. Uh, it's 374. 33,000. How can I get 33? It's 374. It's 374. Now we gotta check all the. That makes sense. The little, the little Second one. Yeah, yeah. Second one. Something around 200. 234. Yeah, 234 kip foot. Okay, your cross section is given. So, PN equal P ultimate divided <coughs> by phi. So, Pn, uh, P ultimate, 374 divided by 0.65. Mn equal M ultimate divided by phi. So, 234 divided by 0.9. What's the first value? 175.4. Say it again. 175.4. 75.4. This one? 260. 60? Yeah. Okay. Third step, or next step, what is the value of gamma? Okay. If you say this distance is h, so your h equal to n, n. Your value of gamma h which is this distance between this phase of reinforcement to this phase of reinforcement, this distance called gamma h. This distance equal 15 inch. Can you figure out what is the value of gamma? Yeah, equal 15, divide 20. Do you agree? Isn't that the way around? I'm sorry? Don't you do uh... What's the value? Oh, <coughs> <coughs> Three quarter? Point seven five. Point seven five. Then what is the value of Rn? What is the value of Kn? <coughs> Kn <coughs> Rn first equal Pn time E, we forgot to uh, calculate E, divided by Fc prime area gross H. Kn equal Pn divided by Fc prime area gross. We forgot to calculate this intensity. I think it should be here. This intensity E equal mn divided by pn. Your mn equal 260 <coughs> divided by pn 575.4. What is the value of e? 0.45. Point 0.45 feet. So, Go ahead and calculate your value of Rn. Your eccentricity, 0.45, Pn, 575.4, Fc prime, uh, 
What's the value? What is the, uh, the area gross? Remember, remember, your PN in KIP. So I converted my FC prime to be in KSR. Anyway, area gross, uh, 14 time 20. H, 20. So you can figure out what is the value of RN. What is the value? Five seven five point four time point four five divided by <coughs> four time fourteen times twenty times one. Your value point to all one one. Yeah. For Kn, Pn equal five seven five point four FC prime four area cross. 14 times 20. Point five one. Point what? Five one. Can you open your, uh, you have uh, curves, interaction diagram? Yes. So go ahead and open your interaction diagram with your cross section has reinforcement in two sides only. 